Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. A day or so ago, I did a story on Chetwin Stewart and someone purporting to be a member of his family contacted me. And there were many parts to that story. There were parts of his entre entrepreneurship and things that he failed at. It seems though he failed a lot in business. They didn't care about that. They didn't care about his failure in business. The fact that people said that, um, that this celebrity he's supposed to be a celebrity now he's well known in barbados you know when there's uh, crop over and you know doing things he's part of the entertainment and the you know celebrity group okay so when i talked about the fact that he lost money they didn't care about that when i talked about the fact that he with all the money that has passed through his hands he was you know Owning. He didn't own a home. He was living at maybe a daughter and a sister, you know, he was moving back and forth. They didn't care about that. They didn't care about that, okay? All they cared about was the fact that I say Black Rock. And we talked about mental health and I've been talking a lot about mental health since this year started. Even at the end of the year, I started on it. And they care more. You can have a stumped toe. You have a stumped toe. You can have a broken arm. It's a broken arm. It needs to be fixed. And you can have a broken mind. It needs to be fixed. But if you hide, if you guys continue to hide away from the mental illness part of what you are, how are kids, how are the young people going to come out and say, I need help? How are they going to come and say, I need help? Or how are they going to come out and show others? It's okay. It's okay to have a broken head, a, a broken mind, a broken heart. It's okay. How is it going to be okay when you people keep hiding? Everything is hide, hide, hide. Hide, always hiding. So what? So what if he was sad? What if he didn't feel up to par? What if he wasn't himself? So what? So what? It's okay. It's okay. And then you get people to reach out to you, to talk to you. People that would be there to support you. Then you know who your friends are, for instance. You will know who your friends are. Okay? So it's not a big deal. Your prince, Harry, he's come out. His wife, she's come out. A lot of people have come out and said that the world and the pressures in the world has, uh, they it have affected them. It, oh, it has, yeah, the pressures of the world, you know, it, it affects us all. It affects us all in different ways. You know, some people just, you know, will take a vacation, go away by themselves, close the doors, don't have their phone on. Whatever coping mechanisms you have, but you must not hide from young people. We, you, you, you have to teach young people. It's okay. It is okay to be sad. It's okay. It's okay. Here's where you go. Here's what you can do. Here's some, here are some coping mechanisms. This is what this is what I did when I felt the same way you are feeling now. You know, empathy. Empathy. Put yourself in that person's shoes. It's not a matter of hiding. It's not a matter of it being a lie. Everybody's been sad. <laughs> everyone. Everyone has had a, a mental health day. It's not a matter of hiding now. This is, this is not the time to hide. Okay? If you are sad and it's the holidays and if you are losing money because you are risking it all to, to get to where you need to go. A lot of people, Bill Gates, all of them will tell you of their failures before they got to where they are now. So some people, when you live in a small place like Barbados, it's a risk. It's a big risk. It's a big risk. Everything is a risk. But anyhow, yeah. But it's okay. It's okay to not be yourself 100% every day. It's okay. You just take time to make sure that you rest and fix yourself. Okay? And hopefully you have people around you who care. Hopefully. This is Sherry Veronica.